I am not an audio expert by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not a sound designer, I'm not a sound mixer, I'm not a boom operator, but I do make videos for a living, and so I know the basics. I also understand that when making videos, the image is just half of the recipe for a successful video. The audio is just as important, if not more. Let me explain. Would you rather watch a decent looking video that looks something like this, but has poor audio? Or would you rather watch something like this, which might be lacking in image quality, but has superior audio? Most people would choose this version. Good quality audio can actually help keep your viewers' interest, even if the image is lacking. So how do you achieve good quality audio? Well, unlike video, where we all have decent cameras in our pockets at all times, using the audio from your phone is not always the best option. So I laid out a few alternatives here and I'll go through them really quickly. Uh, this is a mini shotgun mic. So this would attach right onto your, uh, your camera and plug in your headphone jack, point it this way, picking up your audio like that. This is another version of that, just kind of smaller with a mini dead cat on it. Um, the problem with this is, or the limitation with it, is that you're limited to how uh, close or far you are to the camera. So obviously the farther away you get from the camera, the worse the audio. Uh, you can fix that by using a lavalier mic. And so this would clip directly onto the subject and you could hide it under the clothes or back around the collar, however you need to do it. Uh, the problem with this is sometimes you can see it bulging out if it's under the clothes or if you put it on top, you know, you just have that, that visual mic in the shot. Um, but it does, you know, it picks up really nice audio because it's so close to your mouth. Um, if you want to get something even closer to your mouth, you could use something like this. If you're doing, say, a video podcast and you want really crisp audio and you don't mind showing it in the frame, you could have something like this where you're just talking directly into it and that'll provide you with some really nice audio. And probably the most common way to capture audio is to use a shotgun mic on a boom pole like this. So this is coming in over my head right here. And then so if we would zoom in, we would see that it, it, it cuts out of the frame and we still get good audio without seeing the mic. But this is probably the most common thing you'll see uh, when people are making videos because it sounds the most natural. Um, whereas this mic, if it's underneath, it's, it's just, it just doesn't sound quite as natural. It gets a little too bassy when you have a mic under your throat like this. So this is probably the best option to use but having said all that, if you're gonna be filming outside, you're gonna to wanna to completely rethink your entire audio situation. Filming outside is a completely different ball game. You have to deal with lots of noise pollution like leaf blowers, lawn mowers, construction workers, shut up! Please. Also, the wind blowing across your mic can cause serious problems. That's where our friend the dead cat comes into play. Now, it isn't too windy today, so we'll have to improvise so I can show you how using something like this can really make a difference when it comes to recording audio outside. So if you're out trying to film on a windy day and all you have is a mic with no additional foam or, or cover or dead cat blimp, anything like that, this is what it's going to sound like. You hear the wind rushing over the top of the mic. Um, it's, it's basically unusable. You don't want that. All right, so now I've added this foam cover on the mic. This is something uh, that most uh, microphones come with already. And uh, this is good for indoors, but outside, as you can hear, with some, with some decent winds, I mean, it's still, it's not gonna make for, for usable audio. Now we're getting somewhere. I put the mic inside of this apparatus, which we call a blimp, and I think it really knocked out most of the wind. Um, I can hear a little bit coming through. Watch, if I move closer here, of course we're gonna get the sound of the fan itself, but can still hear a little bit of the wind rushing through and getting to the mic but this is loads better than what we had before all right and now we have the dead cat this thing completely knocks out all of the wind noise 
And I mean, it's just, there's no comparison between, you know, this and what we first had. Look, watch this, nothing. I mean, obviously again, you hear the sound of the fan, but I can put it right up to it. You see the wind pushing the hairs of the dead cat, but you can't hear it. So dead cat is a way to go in any outdoor situation because you never know when you're gonna get that, that gust of wind to ruin a perfectly good line or a scene or whatever. So if you have the means to record audio with one of these, I highly recommend it. So there you have it. Just a few tips to keep in mind when making videos with audio. Subscribe to the Cloud9 channel for more videos like this and much more. And if you need anything from the K9 Real Production team, drop a comment below. See you next time.